If you are looking for a cringe millennial that is obsessed with fantasy content, you've come to the right place. Subscribe. Well, hello, dear hobbit or elf or dwarf. Welcome back to my channel to all my amazing friends and welcome to those that are new that just clicked on this in the recommendation that like Lord of the Rings and like to be crafty in DIY. Subscribe. So this week we are doing a craft. Usually we do thrift hauls on this channel, but I'm trying to, you know, mix things up, shake things up a bit, and do some other things, some other fun activities. And if you are new to this channel, you may not know, but I'm a huge nerd. Can you tell? <laughs> I love fantasy and Lord of the Rings, and I also love to make things. And so this week we are going to merge those two loves and we are going to make a hobbit door wreath wall hanging slash door hanging unfortunately i can't take the credit for this idea i got it from another creator and i will link the video in the description and i don't think they are the original person to come up with the idea either i actually put together a few pins on pinterest in my diy board which i will also link below and plenty of people have thought of this we are not unique but i thought it'd be fun to, to share the process with you guys and make my hobbit door but first, before we get started, we have we have some business to attend to. No, I don't have a sponsor. But I do have to tell you that you should subscribe. If you are not subscribed, you should like the video. And also because YouTube is stupid and sometimes doesn't let people know when I upload, hit the notification bell and stalk my socials because even with the notification bell, sometimes it's still, they, they still don't they still don't notify people. Why are you the way that you are? So yeah, now that we have that, out of the way let's let's look at my supplies shall we because i actually had most of the supplies already on hand i just had to order a few bits and bobs because i'm too lazy to go out and buy them so this is what we're working with i know you can't tell what this is this is just a mass a bunch of stuff first yes i just happen to have a wood plank handy it was from another diy project that i never actually did i special ordered this specific size off of etsy because i couldn't find the specific size that i was obsessing over that i needed and then i never did it so we're gonna put it to use today this is going to be the base of our hobbit door and then to give our hobbit door some wood plank texture we have these popsicle sticks yes yeah, either these are the same ones that uh, your doctor uses. Say, we just have to snip the tips and then we're good to go. We can kind of arrange them kind of like floorboards and glue them down with hot glue because we're not, we're not professionals. We don't use wood glue. And then we are going to spray paint it or maybe use acrylic. I haven't quite decided to, and just paint it all green and maybe add some shading if I'm not lazy. And then I also have this from another, it's actually from the same DIY as the, the wood plank thing. So yeah, we're gonna kind of put this around the perimeter and then I'm also gonna use some leftover moss that I have from my fairy core mirror just to kind of like add some, some, some extra bits. And I am too lazy to make any more foam mushrooms. So I have some on order off of Amazon. I'm gonna link in as much stuff in the description as possible. I, if anyone else wants to do this the same way that I, I am. And like I said, my inspiration is going to be linked below. So if you wanna make your own, follow along with me. Let's get to crafting, shall we? My leg! Okay, so this is kind of the pattern that we're going for, kind of like laying floorboards. Now, I've seen some people just paint lines into their board instead of actually laying down individual popsicle sticks, but I originally got inspiration from someone who used pop the popsicle sticks. Yeah.
So the board is now covered in the sticks. So I'm trying to decide if I wanna spray paint it with primer and then use acrylic on it, or if I just wanna slap some acrylic right on it. The correct thing to do would be to prime it because I don't want the paint to like soak in and stuff, but... several days later. So it has now been quite a few days since I started this project. I was pretty busy. I went out of town, did some other projects, shot some other videos, but it is finally finished. And I would say that this is probably a record for how quickly I started and then finished a project. So let, 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 let's take a look here. So I didn't use anything fancy to mount it to the door. I would usually have used a command hook, but unfortunately I ran out of the stickies. It was already kind of a little bit of a hole in the door, so I just put a nail in it, even though that's probably not good for the door, but whatever. And then I used this wired twine thing, um, and I used industrial staples on the back of the wood plank just to secure it down. I like made a little knot on the back to for something to hold on to and like stuck a couple of the staples through the knot. Um, I used quite a few. Can never be too careful. Probably gonna use a little bit of stick tack because the bottom's a little floppy. So that's what I, I used. I'm gonna try to list all of the supplies that I used or at least whatever I can find online in the description. I'll probably arrange it into an Amazon storefront list. That way, if you guys, guys decide to buy any of your supplies from Amazon, I get a little bit of commish which would be very, very nice. And also, just so it's all in one place. Some of the foliage I did get from Daiso, but I'm sure I'll be able to find some alternatives as well. Or you can just check out Daiso or your local craft store or dollar store because I'm sure there's a lot of like autumn foliage that, or if you wanna use winter foliage, whatever you wanna use, it doesn't have to be exactly like this. You could try that out as well. You don't have to buy expensive faux foliage like from Michaels or anything. You can check out the dollar store or even the thrift store because at least my thrift store always has old faux flower arrangements. Some of them are a little crappy, but sometimes you can, if it's cheap, you can just get several things and just harvest different pieces. Just some ideas. Anyways, um, yeah, I'm pretty happy with it. Now, if you're wondering about this sign, all I did to make this is this is two popsicle sticks. Um, the bigger ones that I ended up not using because I didn't have enough of. And then just a piece of cardboard that I got from the back of like one of the, the Daiso tags. And then just some twine that I like kind of twisted up. And then I used a pen, one of my illustration pens. And I just used a reference from online. It's not exactly straight. 
But you know what? I like it. it, it imperfection. It looks nice. And then for the, the knob, I think this is an old Ikea knob from one of my, my dressers um, for when I took the knob off and replaced it with the vintage one. And I just used a little bit of rub and buff on it. Not too shabby. So anyway, that's that's the, the project from start to finish. I really hope you guys enjoyed this. I really hope this inspired you to make your own little hobbit door wreath for your door. And um, yeah, let me know if you guys make this. Comment down below or tag me on Instagram if you are planning on making it or if you do make it. You can show it to me, DM it to me. That would be, that'd be spectacular. I would love to see it. Um, if you guys have any other ideas for projects or crafts that you would like to see, please let me know. Make sure you like the video. Make sure you were subscribed because we have a lot more crafty content coming up as well as thrifty content so if you like that kind of stuff maybe stick around anyways I love you guys and I can't wait to see you in the next one bye bye